Welcome to Trooper's Travels. So we're going up to Shibden Hall. This is where apparently, uh, as you can see behind me, that's the Minster. I've just been to uh, Memorial, Remembrance Sunday. Um, and this is where Anne Lister used to walk down in Telefax, apparently. So I'll just show you around and then uh, we'll try and get up to here, but quite slippy and steep. Give me a second. So that's the Minster. That's where she was buried. Uh, I'll give you some more information about that afterwards. But this is where we're going. It's like an old cobble. It's very slippy as well. So, and steep again. But this will take. This should take us up to Shibden Hall anyway. And this is the old cobbled road. The old Halifax Road. Right, when we get further up, we'll have a look. Some decent views and all up here. We've got the mint still that side, train station there. That's your piece all. And according to form, I go this way. Shibden Hall and Wakefield Gate. Very slippery as you can see. And I believe that's the wall of Shibden Hall. The enclosement, but we'll go up here. We'll try and find it anyway. See how we go on. As you know, I'm not keen on the hills, but I think they're definitely all. Now we'll carry on. Here, tip and all. If you do come this way, be very, very careful. Slippy as out. There's a uh, part of old cobble thing on all these leaves, but. It's quite steep, so <coughs> just be aware of it. Right, see, I think I'm hoping we're up here now. Let's have a look, and it's very sludgy and all and slippy. And this was taken up to Shibden Hall now. The uh, residence of uh, Anne Lister, aka Gentleman Jack. So that's what we just come down, that were. Uh, Beacon Hill Road and permissive footpath. Uh, public footpath, that's to Halifax as well, where it's come from as well. And uh, permissive bar shipping park. At least it's levelled off anyway. Very misty though, unfortunately. But we'll have to plod on. I do apologise for weather conditions, it is pretty misty. Didn't like it from this morning, but we'll have a look around what we can find and uh, give you some information if we can. In fact, that might be one at uh, air shafts of the pit. Alice's pit might be an air shaft, that or something. We'll soon find out, won't we? As you can see, it's pretty nippy and misty. Uh, so that's going to be a background when we get down here. I'm going to shift it all. It's not open, unfortunately. Just closed, but we can get round it, round Portland, and possibly show you a bit of house and tell you a bit more about her. I think you're already aware of who she were and that. And they were TV series, but... Uh, yeah, it's a Shibden, all right, I well, remember it, but as you can see, pretty missing, I don't know what that is, some type of folly, maybe, I don't know, we'll have a look at it shortly. That's that tower thing, but I don't know what it is, but whether or not I can get into it, I don't know, but there's no information. Looks like a ventilation shaft, that for me, but it's been pushed up, isn't it? Unless it's a folly, I ain't got a clue. Can't find no information about it. I can get access to it. Hmm. Don't really fancy getting all brushed up. We'll see if it's all down here. I believe that's where we're heading. That's uh, Shibden Park, the estate and Lister.
Mm, that's weird that but it's got to be a folly of some kind. We'll have a look anyway. Onwards and onwards. Like I say, I haven't got a clue what they are. I think the ventilation shafts, fog pit, what we're here, it's got to be. Uh, and this should take us down the Shibden Park, I believe. I'm hoping it is anyway. But as you can see, it's rather misty. I'm hoping it's the right way anyway. You know what I'm like, I get lost. But yeah, it's, some, it's just like a, it's like a castle tower there. But it's not. And where we are. Let it to Shibden Hall. Try and get some. It is shut, but I'll be able to get it. Right, but this is Shibden Park. We'll have a look in ground if we can. It's not open like, but this bit's open. So the home of Van Lister. So this is the West Terrace, as you can see there. And I'll give you some more information. Call oh, that wood there. I think we'll have a log burner in it. Some lovely colours, isn't there? Autumn. And that is shaped at all. I have been in it, but it's been a while ago, but it clocks 30th uh, October. But we'll have a look round it anyway, there's no stoppers, the gates open. But yeah, this is the uh, Homer and Lister. You can see that's the Gothic tower she had built. I think that were her library. If I'm, unsh if I'm not wrong. And it's got the original timber frame the Childer as well, but it looks at it, but we'll have a look anyway. There's a lot to see. This is like a terrace. So, Shibden Hall was original uh, timber frame manor house. It dates back to 1420, and it were listed as inhabited by William Oates. The next two centuries were owned by the Savile and Warthouse families. And then the Tudor house, obviously, were built in the 17th century uh, with barns and workshops. In 1619, they all came under the ownership of the Lister family, the wealth, and they were wealthy uh, mill owners, so that would have been a, a parents or grandparents, I would say. But we'll have a look round best we can. I'm glad we can get in to have a look at it anyway, but we'll have a look at it. So, this is the Lister Lion. With quarter arms and three stars. But that's the uh, quarter arm of the Lister family. I don't think that, it's a bit dark, isn't it? And this would have been the uh, 
possibly, well, if I could think we'd have gone on horses, but this would have been the workshops and uh, the barn and things. And that's the house, unfortunately, it's not open. But we'll have a look round, what we can get. That's like a dove cart up there. This would have been the entrance into the uh, the house, but that is what she had built for a library and Lister. Little mushrooms. some type of uh, water cascade like dead in gardens so that's the uh, the gothic tower that I list to use for a library uh, she employed architect John Harper we were commissioned to make large improvements to the house and uh, the gardens. Quite impressive, isn't it? Don't see many buildings like that now, do you? And it's free. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't go inside. And that's some type of water cascade down there. I'll have a look round. <clears throat> And I believe that's an entrance for gardeners to come in. I'm not sure. Let's see if it, is it locked. Let's have a look. And it's locked. Surprise, surprise. Obviously, when uh, my nan died, it was passed on to her partner, Han Walker. And then she died in 1854, so possession would pass back to the Lister family. Yeah, vast acres of land. The formal terrace garden. And that is the blue plaque. Hmm. Lived in 1850 to 1840. Glad I've come up here now. Even though it's not open. Uh, this is your gentleman jack house. She had a lot of diaries um, and she did a lot in code. Um, obviously, one sixth of her diaries were well written in code, including steamy encounters. Ellen Whitbread cracked the codes on every one of the diaries. So that ends why you've got the actual TV programme. But yeah, it is like a manor house, isn't it? It's an old manor house that was turned into a Tudor. She married uh, a lady called Anne Walker, so she was, she was quite wealthy. Uh, Anne Walker was born 20th of May 1803 and died 25th of February 1854. And it was Britain's first known lesbian wedding in uh, Old Eternity Church in uh, Goodrum Gate, York. She's buried nearby, I'm going to try and find it, but it's quite a distance away, I can't get there by bus.
unfortunately. She we we are wealth and things she had. Obviously when when she inherited all this uh, all shares from her aunt and her, her father and she she was in, heavily involved in, in mines, quarries. Um uh, what else did she do? Railways, canal, she she had shares in that. And uh, she invested money into building this up and also travelling. Obviously she was born 3rd of April 1791 in Halifax. She died 22nd of September 1840. She's actually buried in uh, Halifax Minster. They buried on 29th of April 1841, so it, it, it was months after she'd passed away, but she uh, she got a fever when she was in uh, Kutasari, I think, in Georgia, Russia. Uh, the tombstone were rediscovered in 2000, being covered by a floor in your in uh, Halifax Minster. It were moved to it inside of the doorway, and then back inside the minister's people were like taking bits of this at gravestone, it's like a big crack thing, but I'm gonna try and get that show you that tomorrow if I can and link them all up. Um but yeah, gentleman Jack. This is her uh, house. So she were I'm listed, she were a, an English diarist famous for recorded revelations. She were dubbed the first modern lesbian, uh, and she were from a mine, a minor landowning family at Shibden in Calderdale, which is the one we're looking at. She inherited the estate after her uncle's death, 1826, but only had a small part of its income until both her father and aunt died, and then she re retained the shares, and yeah, all this was passed on to her. But, yeah, this is your shibbed and all. Let's get more stuff if I can. You can't see indoors because there's black salt windows out. Unfortunately. That's the belt. Does it ring? Let's have a look. Didn't ring very well, did it? And we'll have a breather on that, I think. But that is your entrance into the museum when it's open. Told you, March to October, 10 till 5, Saturdays, 11 till 5, last entry at 4 pm. But that is shipped and all. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little snippet. Shipped and all, gentleman Jack House. Um, we'll have a Grant uh, Gardens, well, estate, Shibden Park. Rain's kept off, so I'm happy with that. So I just thought you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, please, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, there's quite a lot of people watching my videos, but not subscribing. It doesn't cost you, know, it's free, and it just helps my channel to grow a bit better. 188 subscribers, not doing too bad. Uh, but if you can, if you have watched the videos and you don't subscribe, just subscribe, it's free, it doesn't cost you. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it. Uh, but enjoy the videos and what I'm keep putting and the more will come. If you've got any ideas, if I mean I don't drive, um but if you've got any ideas and it's local to me I'll I'll have a look at them and try and get a bit of at places. Uh, plus it helps people if they can't get to these places to actually see them. Okay, bye. And that's the uh, the lodge. Shibden Lodge. The entrance into the actual estate. That's your lodge. On a wet day. And as promised, this is the uh, gravestone and list of what's left of it. In memory of Anne Lister of Shibdenall, who died the 22nd of September 1940 in Georgia, as I said previously, in turn here, 29th of April 1841, that's what's left of it. Wonder where it were then.
and that's a newspaper report there. And Leicester. Lovely church. But this is the uh, the gravestone of Anne Lister, Gentleman Jack.